So welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you the Sony HT-ST5000 soundbar with subwoofer. It is one heck of a soundbar. It's packed full of features. It is so, so loud. It is absolutely ridiculous. But also as well, the clarity of it is mind blowing for such a small unit with everything within it. So let's take a look at it and see how it performs. Now this, I was super excited to receive in the post. I am a massive fan of Sony products. I pretty much have used Sony products throughout my whole life. From my first ever Walkman through to a mini disc, through to TVs, laptops, you name it. I pretty much have had anything and everything from Sony. Now this is probably one of the biggest items I've ever had from Sony and one of the loudest. It's an 800 watt sound bar with subwoofer packing in huge amounts of features such as high res audio through to Dolby Atmos through to NFC, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Spotify Connect, Google Home capability but also as well 4K HDR pass through with lossless protection. It is absolutely stacked to the rafters when it comes to features. So I think the best thing to do is take a look at the unit and also as well see how it performs and how it sounds. So on as if by magic, here is the subwoofer. It's beautiful, but it's big. I definitely would recommend taking a look to see whether or not it's actually gonna fit in your home and where you want to put it, but I do think it looks the part as well. So if you're looking for a subwoofer that's either going to be on display or visually appealing, I would definitely recommend that this is one of the best looking subwoofers I've seen in a while. Um, with its metal and its gloss black plastics, I think it's beautiful. But I definitely as well would say that with the wireless capability on it, I think that really is a huge bonus. So you do not need to tie a cable between the soundbar or the subwoofer. It's pretty much a one click process and the two tie together. So really, really handy from that point of view and really quick to set up. So we'll say goodbye to the subwoofer for the moment and we'll take a little bit more of an in-depth look at the soundbar. Okay, so one of the nice things that I liked about this when I first saw it is the fact that this can sit underneath a lovely television, so up from 42 inch upwards, so it will sit perfectly nice under any television and look absolutely beautiful. But also as well, it is wall mountable, so if you've got a wall mounted TV, there's no worry and no concern about popping this underneath it. So again, being wall mountable, it's just going to allow you to continue on with that sleek look but also as well being able to have that speaker system directly below or next to your television. So another thing that really impressed me on this is that it's got a removable front grill. So the really nice thing about this is that it shows you all them beautiful coaxial speakers at the front, but also as well up at the top underneath these grates are the Dolby Atmos speakers. Now these reflect off the ceiling to give you this immersive high resolution audio and experience, really immersing you in this 360 degree sort of experience. And when it's set in the 3D surround mode or in movie mode, this basically gives you this sort of immersive experience whereby you'll hear these little sounds popping up all over the place. Which is really strange because obviously all of this is just built into just this one small sleek box. Now that's really impressive in my mind because back in the day you used to have to have speakers all over the place. You know, the floor standers, rears, up in the ceiling, subwoofers, everywhere. Now what we're seeing here is just one solution in one sound bar with one subwoofer. And it's giving you this massive experience of being in the cinema. And I just think that is absolutely mind blowing. And when you actually hear it, the immersive experience is just overwhelming sometimes. So they look really nice on the front, they look kind of carbon fibre-esque and I think that's really nice, and, you know, little accents of gold, you know, really set it off nicely. So one of the other bonuses on the front of this panel is basically this little LCD panel. This will basically tell you what is currently going on. So if I turn on the unit you'll be able to see what this looks like. So I'm just using the remote that comes with it now this is the Sony remote, now what you can do is you can download the application which is available for iOS and Android on the app stores. 
Now that will allow you to pretty much do exactly the same from there directly, but I think this remote is just a beautiful little remote. Everything's on there. But also as well, if this is hooked up to a television, it will allow you also as well to be able to control all the features and functions, all of the settings, all from the television screen. So making it really easy to customize, but also as well see what's going on and really get that extra experience out of this product. So at the moment, it's currently set on Spotify. Now this just allows me to be able to connect directly to this unit from any Spotify app um, within my home network. Now this immediately connects over NFC, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now at the moment it's set on Wi-Fi. So let's give it a go and see how it works. So let's use the Spotify app and let's pop on some music. So all I need to do is open up the app, press play and at the bottom select devices available. So because it's using Spotify Connect, it automatically understands that I can play directly to this from the application. So all I need to do is press the Sony soundbar and hey presto the music's popping through. Now the great thing is, is that I can control the volume from here and I can skip the track, I can move things around. But also as well I've got my remote. So I can go up and down in the volume. So we've got some nice lovely guitars going on in the background there. So I can feel this around in my sort of spatial awareness. I, I, I'm feeling little picks of the guitar here, there and everywhere. But the nice thing is, is that because it's got that subwoofer and because it's got that rich bass sounds that come from it, we're really sort of starting to feel that immersiveness pop out. So I can basically, I could turn up the subwoofer from here and I could turn it up and down. So that's really handy because obviously then you've got the control of your sound all from that remote control. This sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to get the full experience like I am but hopefully you'll be able to take a look at this. So one of the other great things is the customization on this actual unit. So I've got things like the actual sound settings, so I can immediately change how this sounds. So I can go to something like, this one is music. I can change it to things like sports, so if I'm watching sports TV. So I can change it to a clear audio sound, which is gonna give me more clarity on the voice. I also as well have a 3D surround setting which gives us this even more immersive experience. It's using the upper speakers on here to really drive that sound quality out and really build you into what's actually going on. So again with the Dolby Atmos system and these speakers really driving that immersiveness to you, if you're actually sat there and watching a movie and you know, it might be the latest blockbuster or something, the great thing is, is that you're going to be hearing and feeling all of them sounds. So whether it be an explosion or cars driving by or people talking in the background or behind where the actual visuals are happening, you're going to be hearing where that is and feeling where that is as well. And I think that's one of the key things that I've liked about this, is the real true immersive experience. So that's one of the things that I've really liked about this when I've been watching movies or when I've been listening to music is that ultra realism that it brings to the table and you are actually in the music or you're in the sound of that movie that you're watching and I think Sony have really delivered way above what I expected when I got this out of the box. Another nice thing that Sony built into this soundbar is the support that it has for Google Home. So if you're wanting to control maybe the sound, the volume, you want to skip a track that you're listening to, or you just want to change maybe the podcast that you're listening to, you're going to be able to do it with the power of your voice. So if you can't find your remote or you can't find your phone, so it makes it really simple just to be able to say something like, hey Google, turn the volume up, or hey Google, skip the track. It just makes it so much easier, but also as well, it's really nice function to bring to the table. So if you're looking to take your movies, your dramas, or your music to the next level from an audio point of view, I truly would suggest taking a look at this unit. I think it delivers everything that you could ever want from a soundbar, but also as well, it really looks the part. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you've got any questions, please pop them down below. And also as well, if you want to see more videos, please click that subscribe button. Look forward to seeing you in another video.